they, they can be independent. Um, they they seem to take things on board a lot better. You can communicate better with them and have ground rules that they understand. Yeah, well, and you learn that you learn or they learn to earn your trust, and that's when things do change and they do open up. And having teenagers, at the end of the day, they have to learn by mistakes because it's the same as our children growing up. You know, they learn by the mistakes and hopefully they come out of that with a, a lot better view. We don't tend to have many rules in the house. Um, they are made to feel part of the family. Um, their phones come out at night, mainly so they get a good night's sleep. Um, and for their protection and not doing things they shouldn't be doing when we're not monitoring the phones. Um, and all the, all the teenagers that we've had, they all abide by the rules um, and are very, very good, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, very good. You know, they have come from hard backgrounds. Um, so you've got to say to yourself now and again, the reason they're like this is because something as simple as not tidying their room. Some of them, where they've come from, they've never had to tidy their bedroom. And, you know, but you do have to try and teach them for their independence because if they live like that now, and they never learn from that mistake, they'll go on and live like that, and it's a vicious circle. You know, we always say to our, our children, don't we, the foster children, you know, if there's a problem, we're here if you want to talk, but I will not pressurise them to talk. They need to come to you in their own time. And they've always known that. They've always known that, that eventually when they're ready to talk, they will open up and talk. And it's very rewarding to see the children go on and turn their lives around because you've got to remember these kids are in care for one reason and one reason only and it's not their fault and it's just lovely to see them to go on and do something amazing with their lives. You've got to try and break that circle, it's as simple as it, whether they're in bad habits or you know these kids have had an awful start in life and if they're not taught a different way. It's just guiding them, um, making them aware what's right and what's wrong, you know no different than you do with your own children, you try and guide them in the right direction Okay, they might mess up now and again, but actually be there for them and support them and hopefully they'll learn by mistakes. No different than we, we had to do as children. And actually, you know, they can go on and achieve a great deal.